successful launch of Atlas, the week before Christmas 1957, more than a quarter century ago. In a crash program of the highest priority, Atlas was created by General Dynamics in response to the need for an intercontinental ballistic missile to guarantee our national security. So pressing was the national need for Atlas that its launching sites were being designed and built even before it proved itself in flight. 35,000 people worked across the nation in one of history's remarkable engineering and construction projects. Launches began in earnest, an average of two a month. In December of 1958, only a year after the first successful launch, Project SCORE placed an entire atlas in Earth orbit. Aboard were a tape recorder and transmitter which beamed this message around the world. Project SCORE was the beginning of the transition of Atlas from weapon to space launch vehicle. Reliability took on an entirely new meaning when Atlas was chosen to be the orbital booster for Project Mercury, America's first man in space program. Three more astronauts followed John Glenn into space aboard Atlas, proving its reliability and versatility. Since Friendship 7, there have been more than 350 Atlas launches on many challenging and diverse missions. Between 1964 and 1967, Project Prime tested re-entry bodies that paved the way for the design of today's space shuttle. Atlas sent Ranger 4 to the moon for the first hard landing. Mariner 2 was the first interplanetary probe past Venus. When the National Aeronautics and Space Administration needed an upper stage vehicle, General Dynamics was again called upon to meet the challenge. Centaur was developed for deep space probes requiring a high energy stage and was the first hydrogen burning space vehicle. By the end of 1983, Atlas had been launched 471 times. And Centaur teamed with Atlas and later Titan 60 times. birthplace of Atlas and Centaur, quality and reliability have always been paramount. But the standards of the past are only the foundation for the refined requirements of tomorrow. In an industry where there are now virtually no tolerances, no margins for error. How does General Dynamics meet these standards? 
How do we ensure that every flight is perfect? Starting with design, creative men and women are meticulously reconfiguring Centaur to the specifications of the space shuttle cargo bay so that the two systems mesh like the parts of a fine watch. Elsewhere, computer-aided specialists see that the materials and components needed in the manufacturing process are procured from qualified vendors, selected by means of a careful screening process. They, too, must meet firm commitments in schedule and exacting standards of quality. The men and women in the factory are specialists, too. Craftsmen capable of working to extremely close tolerances. Particular about their task, consistently achieving their goal of zero defect. This Atlas Centaur team brings together more than 6,000 components to create a launch vehicle system that is truly greater than the sum of its respective parts. For everyone involved, the mandate is clear. In these remarkable programs, the goal is 100% reliability with no compromise in quality. Because today's payloads are valued at up to $200 million. The goal is 100% reliability with no compromise in quality because America's astronauts will soon roar into orbit with the new version of Centaur behind them in the shuttle cargo bay. And safety will be paramount. Achieving the goal of 100% reliability with no compromise in quality or cost-effectiveness will continue to make General Dynamics commercial launch vehicles competitive with any space booster available throughout the world. The story of Atlas and Centaur is still being written. Written by the General Dynamics team which, over a quarter century, has designed, built, and improved these space workhorses. These are people who responded to an urgent need in a program unparalleled in American history, literally creating new technology because the standards of the day were insufficient for the task. People who then shaped that new technology into hundreds of launch vehicles that arched their fiery trails into space on scores of important missions. Some team members remember that first Atlas flight in 1957. Others were not even born then. But all are the kind of people whose personal pride and attention to quality has, for example, allowed mankind to see close up the moons of Jupiter and the lacy rings of Saturn. Eight, seven, six. After nearly 500 flights in 25 years, with 50 payload types, on 14 planetary, 21 lunar, and 175 Earth orbital missions. The people of General Dynamics are proudly building today to the tolerances of tomorrow, expanding commercial satellite communication, again aiding in the nation's defense, helping man to utilize space, probing its wonders.